This is the Chappie test. Chappie test aims to measure the toughness of a given material. Toughness is the ability of the material to absorb shock energy before breaking or before deforming. In front of you, we see the sample being machined on the milling machine. Prior to that, we could see the sample being cut on the bandsaw. So the milling machine is taking the size of the sample to 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter, depending with the thickness of the given material, or again, depending or with the specification of the material. So the standard is either 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter by 5 millimeter, 10 by 7. 10 by 3.3, 10 by 2.5, again, depending on the thickness of the sample. So in front of you, we are cutting the sample to the standardized length, which is 55 millimeter. After this, the sample will be notched. The notch will be on the center of our 55 millimeter. So depending on what we are testing, if we are testing the material, we're going to make sure that our notch is in the base material. If we are testing the welding, given that we have two plates welded, then we need to make sure that our notch is in the weld. Basically, when cutting the sample, we need to make sure that the center of our 55 millimeter is either in the weld, if we are testing the weld, in the base material, if you are testing the base material, is in the has heat affected zone if we are testing the heat affected zone again depending on the specification the set of the toughness test or impact test or again chappy test is a set of three samples or five samples as per the material one set will be for the has one set will be for the walls and one set will be for the base material the notch is a two millimeter deep with a 45 degree opening. From here, these samples will be taken into the lab for testing and here we're gonna break these samples on the impact testing machine we should know that the impact is being tested at a given temperature and this will be based on the specification the impacts can be tested either at a low temperature at room temperature at a higher temperature again depending on the material from the the result will be recorded in joules and we're gonna find the average of each set After this, our technician will read the ductility percentage, which will be given by the way the sample will be broken or the way the sample will be deformed.